So now that we've introduced the logistic regression model and saw how we can use it to essentially reproduce that two by two table analysis and the odds ratio we'd get from there, we're going to look at a multivariable logistic regression model. It means using more than just one x variable. Here, I'm just showing the results from fitting a logistic regression model for that Fiji fertility data, incorporating both the age category and their desire for more children. Here, we're estimating probability of using contraceptives, or we can think of it as estimating the log odds of using contraceptives as a function of the education level, the age category, and whether or not they'd like more children. Okay, because we've already acknowledged earlier that wanting more children as well as the age category are likely going to be confounded with the education effect. Here's just expressing that logistic regression model um, on the scale of the log of the odds of using contraceptives, as well as we can see below down here on the scale of the probability of using contraceptives. What we can see over here, things shifted a little bit in the slides. This should be one plus, okay, so the denominator here should be one plus e to the negative 1.133 plus so on. Um, so it's not a plus or minus. What actually happened there was I, I made a typo in the original graphic and put a minus sign and I wanted to correct it by putting a plus sign and I just put a plus over top of the minus and it looked fine in my slides but once it expands to full screen they've actually shifted to not be aligned. Okay so that's again the probability of using contraceptives is e to the negative 1.133 plus so on divided by 1 plus e to the negative 1.33 plus and so on. Okay and so the variables in this model here x1 equals 1 if their education is high, xb equals 1 if they're in age category B, so it's the indicator for category B, xc equals 1 if they're in age category C, xd equals 1 if they're in age category D, and x3 equals 1 if they want more kids, it equals 0 if they do not. For the sake of working with this model, we're going to go through and try using the model there to estimate the probability of using contraceptives for a female who has high education, who's in age category C, and does not want any more children. So in order to do that, you're going to want to use this second expression of the model. Right? The model ex expressed on the scale of the probability of using contraceptives. So the next slide will go through and show you the the answer there. I'd suggest pause the video, take a moment to try and work through this on your own before um, jumping to looking at the answer. Here, if we want to work out the probability of using contraceptives for someone of high education in age category C and who does not want more kids, the probability is estimated to be e to the negative 1.133, right, that's the intercept, plus 0.325 times 1, Right. And again, that was the um, coefficient for having a high level of education, plus 0 0.9086. Again, that's the coefficient for being in age category C. And they do not want more kids, so the x3 variable, right, the indicator for more kids, is going to equal zero. So it's all of that over 1 plus e to the negative 1.133 plus 0.325 plus 0 0.9086. And if you work that all out, it's going to come out to 0.525 or 52.5%. So based on this model, we'd estimate if a woman has high education, they're in age category C, and they do not want more kids, there's about a 52.5% chance that they'll be using contraceptives. So let's talk about the interpretation of each of these coefficients in the model. And again, you're not necessarily going to need to or want to sit and in interpret all these coefficients. But this is for the sake of understanding the model. A reminder, the intercept term there tells us what are the log odds of using contraceptives when all x is equal zero. And in this case, all x is equal zero mean the log odds of using contraceptives for someone with low education who's in age category A and does not want to have more kids. This coefficient here, the 0.325, that tells us how do the log odds of using contraceptives change if someone has high education. Right, so remember the x1 variable equals 1 for high education 
equals zero for low education. We can also think of this as being the log odds ratio for um, education. So if we exponentiate that, and we'll take a look at doing that in a moment, but if we take e to the 0.325, that's going to give us the odds ratio associated with high education. I'll just pick the xc indicator. We'll skip xb and xd because they're all from the same concept. So the xc indicator equals 1 if they're in age category c. It equals 0 if they're in any other age category. And that coefficient of 0 0.9086 tells us what are the change in the log odds for someone in age category C relative to age category A. And again, adjusting for other variables in the model. So if we exponentiate that, that's going to give us the odds ratio. Right? What are the odds of using contraceptives for someone in age category C relative to age category A? And this final coefficient here, x3, right, it equals 1 if they want more kids. It equals 0 if they don't. The coefficient is negative 0.833. And again, that tells us how do the log odds of using contraceptives change if a woman does not want to have more kids. If we exponentiate that, it's going to give us the odds ratio. Okay, so our question of interest was centered around the effect of education on contraceptive use. And we saw in our model that coefficient B1, the 0 0.325, it was the log odds ratio associated with education. So if we exponentiate this, we'll get the odds ratio. In other words, e to the 0 0.325 gives us 1.38. And the way we can interpret that, the odds of using contraceptives for someone who has high education are 1.38 times the odds of someone of low education, adjusting for age and desire for more children. We can also interpret that as if someone is of high education, the odds of using contraceptives increase by 38% relative to low education. And again, just to, to clarify this, what we mean by adjusting for age and desire for more children, if we took two women who were in the same age category, who both wanted to have more kids or both did not want to have more kids, the one who had high education would be 38% higher odds of using contraceptives than the woman of low education. Okay, so that's what we mean by adjusting for age and desire for more children. If those variables were the same for the two people, just one was high education, one was low education, how would they compare? Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.